Well, hello everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and today we're gonna do something, well, quite a bit different. There's been a challenge online, I guess, of uh, turning a couple of recorders and a trash bag into some sort of makeshift bagpipe. I thought I'd take it up just a notch and use my whistles here, of which I have several, and see if I can do the same. So what do we have to work with here? Well, I have three Michael Burke whistles. I have a D, a low D, a G, and an A. I also have a old generation D and a generation B flat. Well, you can imagine these aren't all gonna play nicely together. So I'm probably not gonna use all five. I just have them here right now while I think about kind of the arrangement. But I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and tape the holes on the low whistle and probably on the A whistle to be a D, so just three, so we could have kind of a bass and a tenor drone, and then perhaps use the high whistle as uh, the chanter. And then whichever one would work best, I would think probably the generation here, probably tape over the fipple as well as the holes and turn this into the blowpipe. So I think for now, we're gonna go ahead and take this G whistle and just get it out of here. I don't think we're gonna use that guy. Of course, I have a trash bag right here, some scissors, some tape, because I'm also gonna try to cut the bag to be a little bit more, um, I don't know, ergonomic than just a trash bag. So let's see what happens. All right, job number one, seeing what we have to work with with this trash bag here. So this is just a standard kitchen trash bag. So the length looks pretty good this way. So I definitely think I'm gonna keep, this is the top and this is the back, but I do think I'm going to go ahead and cut the bottom into something more bagpipe shaped. Okay, so there's step one. All right, so we have something approximating the shape of a pipe bag here. I am not going for perfection, people. All right, now I'm gonna actually fold this up and put some tape along it and see if that's enough to keep it sealed or if we actually have to resort to um, some super glue. So just have some electrical tape here, not going crazy with uh, Gorilla Tape yet. Okay, so this whole thing's taped up. I have no idea if it's anything resembling airtight. Let's find out. I hear a slight air leak, but that's not too bad. I'm actually gonna build up the mouthpiece of this with some of this wall mounting putty because right now it is very small. It's very narrow in diameter and I don't think I'd be able to tape or seal that in any real way. No special trips were made to the store in the making of this video. So now I have something far more reasonable sized and a little sticky for the top of that's there. Now to tie it in with some tape. All right, so we have the chanter attached to the bag, the chanter. Okay, so we're gonna approximate the blowpipe distance. So I'm going in half like that. And then I'm gonna guess probably right about there. So I'm just gonna cut a little hole. And I think we're going to turn this generation B flat into a blowpipe. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and tape over all the holes. And there won't be any flapper on this guy, so uh, I'm gonna have to learn how to use my tongue to keep the end of the blowpipe sealed. Tape over this fipple here. Again, I'm gonna take a little bit of sticky tack and kind of build up probably about here where I want it to kind of connect with the bag. Because again, I wanna to try to make it airtight. So, I'm gonna take the mouthpiece off. So far, so good, all right. 
I'm going to take just a brief break. We're going to come back and see if we can get some stocks working. All right, here's my second attempt at a pipe bag. I think this one looks a little bit more the business. I think that looks pretty nice right there. I made an actual welt out of the tape rather than doubling the bag over. That just kind of turned into a big mess. So far, this is working a lot better. Yeah, I'm going to have the, the blowpipe kind of come in right near the front of the bag where the, the chanter is to make up for its length. There we go. Okay, I'm actually feeling an air leak, I think, along the bag seam here. So we're gonna take a look at that. One of the most interesting parts is I keep forgetting to use uh, whistle fingering on this. All right, let's try to add a drone. We're gonna to try to add this base drone right here. What the heck? We're gonna put tape all the way down these holes and we're gonna put, again, some wall mounting putty all along the mouthpiece here where I'm gonna to try to attach it to the bag so we can hopefully get a good seal around this. Patrons, see what your money's paying for? Wall mounting putty for goofy projects like this. Don't want that forward so I'm not like maybe turning the base off in my um, chest here. Okay, so look at about where halfway is. I'm gonna say the base should go right about here because you know, it matters precision right now. All right, I'm excited. This will work or it really won't. What I'm worried about is that the pressure that the low whistle is gonna require to play is gonna be so much greater than the pressure of the high whistle that they won't work. If that's the case, I'm gonna retune this low whistle to be an A drone and we'll try the A chant or chanter the a whistle in here because i think those are going to be perhaps a little bit more along the same pressure so all right bass drone Hey, that's something, that's something. All right, I have a pretty big air leak right along here. So we're gonna take some tape and a second and try, I can just feel the air coming across out of the bag. And uh, it's still a bagpipe of sorts. You don't want a leaky bag. So. All right, so that is with the D whistle. I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy out. I'm gonna put the A whistle in there, retape this for the A, and see if maybe we have a little bit better success with the whistles taking a more similar amount of air pressure to each other than this. So I'm just gonna see if I can take this out and put this one in right into that sticky tack I already have there in the blowpipe slash, excuse me, channer stock. So now this should be playing an A. 
Yeah, so D, E, F, G. All right, I'm gonna do some editing, maybe come back and do something else, but uh, there we go. I've turned a couple of whistles and a trash bag into something. Well, I don't know if it's playable, but it's doing something, so uh, there you go. If you enjoyed this video, guys, give it a like. Think about subscribing to the channel. I'll think about doing some more goofy stuff like this over this uh, quarantined or forced stay in shelter time that so many of us throughout the whole world are going through right now. So if this gave you a bit of a smile, it gave me a bit of a grin. So anyways, guys, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper. Hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers.